When you think of the Protestants, anarchist politics might not immediately spring to mind, but for the 17th century diggers, direct action was a divine mandate. Planting vegetables on public land as food prices were surging, they sought to create a new sort of economy, one that advanced collaboration and equity in a fundamental sense. Their calls for land redistribution quickly irked local landowners who called an army to intervene. The anti-gentrification movement of their time, the diggers suffered beatings, attacks from local gangs, and arson attempts, all at the behest of the lords and landowners who were right then busily enclosing and privatizing public land. As these relentless attacks carried on, the diggers split off and were ultimately evicted, but their legacy continues. Fast forward three centuries to the 1960s, and the diggers in San Francisco were distributing free food to people who needed it. As Danny Goldberg reminds us in his book, In Search of the Lost Cord, the diggers of San Fran participated in the beans that took place there 50 years ago this summer. Inspired by the 17th century radical Brits, they didn't believe in money or commercialism, and they also provided free legal aid and a free healthcare clinic that's still around today. The same period saw the Black Panthers run free breakfast, health and dental clinics, an integral part of their plan to meet people's needs while changing the world. Which all leads me back to new economics. For the first diggers, it was a spade. For the second, a spoon. What's our new politics serving up for the people who need it today? Write to me, tell me what you think. That's Laura, L-A-U-R-A, at lauraflanders.com. And check out all our archives at lauraflanders.com. I'll be back next week.